Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are introduction, rational numbers, rational versus irrational numbers, properties of rational numbers wherein we'll talk about closure property, commutative property, associative property, distributive property, special cases where we'll talk about the role of 0, role of 1, negative of a number and reciprocal of a number. Numbers. They are an integral part of mathematics. As was very rightly said by uh, the famous Greek philosopher Aristotle that mathematics is the science of quantity. Now, what is quantity? For anything, for most of the things, we need to describe how much and that how much is nothing but the quantity. And this quantity plays an important role to define how much of a particular object. For example, when your mom asks you to go to the shop and buy some vegetables. So how do you convey that message to the shopkeeper? How, let's say you, you went to buy tomatoes. So you need to tell the shopkeeper how much tomato do you need? So what do you say? Maybe something like, I need four kgs of tomato. So what is four? Four is nothing but a number. So you need a number to describe how much tomatoes you needed. You scored a 95 out of 100 in your mathematics exam. And you are very happy. Of course, you should be. But what is this 95 again? So it defines that how many answers were correct in your answer sheet. So that, that, that's what your score is all about. So what is this 95? This 95 again is a number. You go to the shop and you tell the shopkeeper, I need five candies. So what is 5? Again, 5 is a number. So 5 is defining how many candies do you need. So wherever you have to describe how much or how many, you need a number. Now this number could be anything. It could be 1, it could be 10, it could be 1000, it could be lakhs. But you need a number. Now, not always the numbers seem like this, like 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. Sometimes we also need different types of numbers. Let's take this example. Let's say that there is a pizza, there's a pizza party at your house and you do not want to eat the whole pizza. It's too much for you. So you say that I just need one fifth of this pizza. So what is this one fifth? It is describing how much out of that whole pizza do you need? So what is this one by five? This one by five is nothing but a number again. It looks a little different from the previous numbers but again it's it's also a number sometimes the temperature of places varies like in fact during winters you might have seen in newspapers that temperature in delhi even drops to negative temperature so it even goes below zero degree celsius minus one degree celsius when if, if you take a cube of ice so what's the temperature? It's at a freezing temperature. It, it also has a negative temperature. So what is this minus one? Again, minus one also looks a little different with a minus sign before it, but that is also a number. Sometimes when your teacher says that 80% of the class is regular in their attendance. So it is a percentage, which means that 80 students out of 100 students come regularly to the class. So what is this 80? This 80 is a number again. Many a times, very casually, we say that I'll be back in five minutes. So what's that five? So that five minutes is actually determining after how much time will you be back. So that five again is a number. So whether we are talking about time or we are talking about percentage or we are talking about temperatures or we are talking about the fraction of pizza that you want to eat. So everywhere we see that to define a quantity, to define how much or to define how many, we need a number. So numbers are a very integral part of mathematics. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to avail free quality education with a simple four-step learning process where you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. 
We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.